What is up guys, this is Exile, and uh, today I'm going to hopefully enlighten you about anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering. Um, I didn't even know what this stuff really was until actually a few moments ago. It, it, it really bothered me, I didn't understand what it meant. And uh, for me, I usually try to understand as much as I can about everything. Um, right now, both of those settings are off, and I'm going to do a comparison with them both at max. And uh, before we really get into details what they are, right now I'm currently running at about 60 frames per second. And uh, that's pretty much as high as my older video card will let me get up. And uh, the game plays relatively smooth. I mean, you may not see it as I'm recording and it kind of takes away from the quality. But this is pretty much as good as it gets. What, what anti-aliasing does is uh, it makes things less square and pixelated. It, with it off, it doesn't do the smoothing. It doesn't emulate a higher resolution than what you really run, which is what it does. Um, so everything you're going to see now is going to be a little bit more square, a little bit more blocky, a little bit less pristine. Um, as for the anisotropic filtering, it, it determines on how, what your computer does and how it processes graphics at a distance. Like I said, right now they're both off, and so at a distance, you're not really going to be able to see the higher detail if all goes to plan and actually works as it says it does. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to switch now to uh, turn both of those settings onto max, and hopefully we can see the difference for ourselves. Okay, now we're back in with um, both of the settings at max, and what you're going to notice right off the bat is that my frame rate is inhibited a lot. I'm running a lot slower, it's getting a lot of uh, little laggy parts, and I'm probably running at around 30 frames per second right now, and so it's going to lag up a little bit. Um, right off the bat, we don't see a major difference in how things look. Uh, there are some minor differences, things don't look quite as blocky, they are a little different, um, but as for the total overall picture, there isn't that much of a difference. Um, at a distance, we are able to see a little bit more detail. Things aren't as cloudy as uh, what it would normally look like. But at the cost of 10, at, at, at the very least, to upwards of 20 or 30 frames, uh, I, I can't really advise keeping these settings on. Um, if you're someone who could not have that much of a frame rate drop, I would, uh, why not just leave it on? But for me, I can't really see myself leaving it on and taking this much of a hit graphically. Um, I'm actually going to have a screenshot comparison at the end, uh, so you can really tell for yourself. But for me, I'm going to say that it doesn't really matter what you run at. And, uh... Well, I guess th there's a counter in that top left-hand corner, and ignore that, because it'll probably say 60 after this is over. But, uh, alright, we'll just, uh, I'll catch y'all later, guys. I just want to let y'all know what it was, and give you my opinions on what actually does the gameplay. Peace.